Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's inside my pockets for the month of September. You guys are gonna see some old stuff, some new stuff, and a truly unique item that just hit the market and it hasn't blown up yet. I'm also gonna be giving away one of these, so watch until the end. But for now, sit back, relax, and let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm planning to carry for the month of September. If you guys are new to the series, what I basically do is come up with a really curated loadout that I can recommend to each and every one of you. All these items have been tried and true, so let's just get right into it and show you guys what my primary EDC knife is and that is going to be the Peña Mula. This is a Sons of Liberty collaboration knife and it actually does feature this really nice lava flow fat carbon with a ton blade. And if you've been following me for a while now, then you'll know that the Mula is one of my most favorite models of all time. This one just really hits at home in terms of the overall aesthetics. I did upgrade this thing with some skiff bearings, so it does have a really good clean action. Not to mention that this is going to be a front flipper as well. I haven't posted a review on this specific knife, but you guys can check out my old Mula review in the description below. Now this next item is very underrated. I'm surprised that they're even in stock right now. Now. It's going to be a direct competitor to the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch Plus, but this is the Data Crew What a Slider. This is an EDC pouch organizer that keeps everything all in one place and then kind of secures all of your expensive EDC items. I will be posting a full review on this, but based off of my first impressions, I'm really impressed. But I would highly recommend that you guys pick up one of these if they are still in stock, because as soon as these things get as popular as the Mighty Pouch Plus, it might not be even possible to grab one. Data Crew is not paying me anything to tell you guys about this pouch. I bought this with my cold hard money, and so far it's been awesome. I did go ahead and customize it with a curator bead from JRW. I got this down at Blade Show Texas, and then Jamie stocks these in every so often. After that, I did go ahead and customize this thing with some Ranger Eyes. We've got one from Data Crew, JRW, my personal patch, as well as a couple other JRW patches. This thing is very simplistic and I did go for like an orange and black theme. On the other side of the pouch, I did go ahead and add in some black paracord and there's really nothing in the backside pocket just yet. I assume I could probably throw in some credit cards, maybe some cash. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and it is just absolutely glorious inside. I can fit so much gear in here. It's actually a ridiculous amount. This this thing can low key fit more stuff in it than the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch. And again, I'll be going over all this stuff in the full review for this thing. But to start off, here I've got my Zirconium Bolt Action Mini Pen from Big Idea Designs. This is a perfect pouch pen just because of how small it is. If I'm bringing this out and need to sign like a tip or something, it's just really easy to pull this thing out and then do a signature. Now this specific version in Zirconium is not cheap. I believe it goes for like $220, so you guys don't have to go that crazy they do have a titanium copper brass option starting at 75 bucks on top of that if you guys use my code everyday minimalist it will also get you 10 percent off of your order this thing snugs into the pouch no problem and with ease and then right next to it we've got my flashlight of choice this is the four sevens prion p1 mark three jeez that's such a long skew number but these things are about 55 bucks off of amazon and they are pretty sweet just because of how many different different modes they've got on them. And I love the fact that they do have a tell switch. That just makes it really easy and ergonomic, especially if you're just trying to get into those small corners or whatever you're trying to look for. And I use this flashlight all the time. It's a fantastic one and can definitely recommend it to you. This guy sits here right in the middle next to my Combat Beads Mark II bit driver. This is a satin titanium bit driver and I've pretty much put this in every single loadout. I use this bit driver almost every single day, especially if I'm tuning up my knives, if I'm finicking with new knives, trying to learn the internals, or if one of my buddies brings me their knives for me to go ahead and disassemble and maintain. This thing can fit up to three different bits on the interior. This top cap just pops right off. That's actually working off of a bearing. And I love the fact that this one is in a satin titanium. I actually have my eyes on the Zerk version, but those things are kind of expensive. So we'll see if that ever comes into fruition. And this again, will sit next to the Prion P1 flashlight right here. And then on the other 
other side here, we've got a piece of pocket art, and this is gonna be the JRW Flex Curator in a Coyote Tan. I actually got this one secondhand on Jamie's Facebook group, and this one just looks really cool and kind of matches up with this tan aesthetic. This is a really cool pocket art piece, and I just love carrying Jamie's stuff if you couldn't already tell. Next to the Flex Curator, I've got this guy here, and it's my pry bar of choice. This is the Gear Spool Mighty Bar. Now, the reason why I picked this one specifically because it's very simplistic. It's literally like a piece of titanium that's in a rectangular shape and then it's got this chop off end here that is rounded and this will help out with any of my camera plates and stuff like that. The really interesting thing about this is you can add it onto your keychains or a lanyard but this thing is going for $15 on Amazon. That is ridiculously cheap. If you guys are just trying to find an entry level titanium pry bar, I can definitely recommend this thing and to be completely honest with you guys, you don't know how often you'll need a pry bar until you own one. They come in handy if you're trying to open up like paint buckets, if you're trying to screw on the camera plates, if you're trying to scrape something off but not scratch it up entirely. This is a fantastic tool to have. So nesting behind those couple products, I've got this guy right here and it's another product from Big Idea Designs. This is going to be their bit bar. This thing is made of titanium, has a bunch of magnets built into it, but what makes this thing super convenient is it holds a bunch of different bits. Now I know the Combat Beads Mark II bit driver already has three of them, but there's been times where I've needed a different size and having the bit bar with a bunch of different Weeha attachments just makes it super easy to find the correct size that I need. A lot of you guys might have this, the Wea Bit Bit Selector, and this thing is just so cumbersome and large. Look at that. Like, this thing is literally half the size, if not more. You can also install a bit here up top, and this makes it really convenient if you have a knife like the Mula, where you need two different bits on each side in order to get the pivot apart. So this thing is just kind of like a two-in-one tool. They go for about 120 bucks, so they're not cheap, but it's well worth it if you like maintaining knives and other things. And next to that, the very last item is going to be this guy right here, of course. It's going to be the Protec Runt 5. I haven't carried this thing for a while now, so I just wanted to add this thing back into the loadout. The Runt 5 is absolutely the best pouch knife that I could possibly think of. The overall form factor is very slim and minimalistic. This thing is awesome to open up packages. I do get a really good purchase on it. However, my pinky kind of dangles off, so that's why I did add on this lanyard. I should probably get a review out on the Runt 5. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. I know there's a lot of different channels that I've already covered this knife, but if you want my personal opinion, then let me know. Now I'm going to go ahead and just answer this question because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me, how am I going to carry this thing? So my solution personally, and this is how I carry my pouches, is I basically just put it in my hand and carry it like it's an object. We're also used to carrying a phone in our hands anyways. This thing is not that bad. Now if I'm wearing a hoodie, I can put it into my center pocket, and if I have a backpack, I can just just slap this thing into the backpack and not have all of my tools just jingling around. So if you guys made it this far in the video, throw me a thumbs up. If you like this content, throw me a thumbs down if you disliked it. So I did mention that there was going to be a giveaway in the beginning of this video, and I am going to be giving away a Data Crew What a Slider. Data Crew is not sponsoring this, but I love to support companies that I personally enjoy. That's exactly why I ended up with this Mojave version is because I like this one so much. This one is the camo version. We'll keep the rules super simple. All you're gonna have to do is follow me on Instagram and then leave a comment below and tell me what your most favorite thing about EDC is. Whether it's knives, EDC pouches, pocket art, titanium pry bars, tools, whatever it might be, just tell me what it is. And I really want to know what's your guys' favorite video that I've ever produced. Huge shout out to all of my patrons and return subscribers. This channel would not be a thing without you guys. And I hope all of you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.